Well, simply enough, for the next four weeks, the message is to stay at home whenever possible. And that means that non-essential shops, uh, bars and restaurants, gyms and hair and beauty salons all have to close. And there's a €220 Euro fine for anyone breaking the lockdown. There are more exceptions, though, this time compared with what we went through earlier this year. The most significant of which, though, is that schools will remain open and that obviously will be a relief to many parents out there. But interestingly, as England goes into a four-week lockdown, Wales is preparing to come out of a two-week lockdown. And many of the business owners I've been speaking to have wondered that if Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister, had acted on the scientific advice he received six weeks ago, would the English lockdown have to be as long as it is? But the Prime Minister is coming on pr under pressure from both sides of the argument for those people who are urging a lockdown and people even within his own party who think it is not the right way forward. And yes, you raise an interesting point here. What happens at the end of those four weeks on December the 2nd? On the one hand, Boris Johnson said that he would then seek to end the lockdown and go back to localised restrictions. But then subsequently he said he absolutely would end the nationwide lockdown. I think reading between the lines, it all depends on the success in bringing the virus under control. And it was quite ominous, though, to hear another warning from another senior minister just in the past couple of days who warned of the potential for a third wave of coronavirus and a third need for a nationwide lockdown. We'll all be holding our breath and hoping that doesn't turn out to be the case.